Hey guys, Thunder E here, and I told you I was gonna get the Samsung S95B OLED, and here it is in the flesh. And this is probably the first unboxing for this TV, so let's get into it. This comes in an eco-friendly packaging, which Samsung has taken this year. So we've got, of course, our trusty... <laughs> We got our trusty unboxing tool. Let's go. <laughs> That's what I get for trying, trying to be cool. Here are the ports for our Samsung S95B OLED. We've got two USB ports 2.0. And then we've got four HDMI ports. As you can see, on the top, it has the gaming logo, which means all four ports are HDMI 2.1 capable ports, which is great. Samsung used to have one, now it's four. The third one is an eARC. We've got our LAN port, and then we've got the antenna here, which is great for people who like to use digital antennas. Once you have your base connected to the second segment here, this is very important because you only come, it only comes with four screws which are used to connect the base and the second segment. You want to open these latches here because this is going to slide in and lock into place on the TV. Let's go ahead and do that. This is where your base is going to connect and you're going to slide it into these two, or actually four in total uh, positions and then lock it into place. There are no screws or anything here. So let's go ahead and do it. Then you slide it forward, and then you lock it into place. And that's it. And this is the brand new Samsung remote. As you can see, it has a traditional styling from the high-end remote from last year. Uh, with two new buttons, there is the addition of Disney Plus, as well as that three card button at the top right hand corner. It does have a built-in battery, which is rechargeable via USB Type-C, which is great as well as solar charging. You can use your indoor lights, it doesn't matter. And this now supports uh, charging of uh, radio waves or radio frequency. So your radio waves in the house will charge this remote to use. All right, we have our TV on our TV stand. And just remind you guys, when you're doing the setup again, make sure you get somebody else to help you because this TV is very light and super thin. So. You don't want to drop in, you don't want to break or damage anything. So we're on the setup screen after you powered it on and you have two simple options. You can either use your smartphone or remote step-by-step. -step. I'm going to use a remote step-by-step -step because not everyone might have uh, a Samsung smartphone or of course use smart things. So I'm going to start the process. It says check your smartphone for a QR scan if you want to use a, your Smartphone, I'm gonna go back to previous and I'm gonna move over to the right and go remote step by step. Boom. All right, let's do that. So it auto detected two devices connected. As you can see, all you need is Samsung smart remote. It has, of course, my Xbox Series uh, X as well as my PlayStation 5 and uh, already my PlayStation is connected and turned on. I can turn on those devices if I choose to, which I will right now. So both devices are on, it recognizes them. Now let's start auto setup. Or you can do retail mode. So searching for Wi-Fi, find your router. It also has an ethernet port, you can connect to it. This is using the five gigahertz network. As you will note, it, note this TV does not support Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 6E which is a bit disappointing, but we can use our five gigahertz, net, uh, gig, gigahertz network, which is pretty useful. Now, it's checking for an update, making sure it has the latest version for the TV, and it looks like it might have found something. Install that update now, or do it later. Go ahead and do that. Let's let the update process do its thing. All right, so we can go ahead and sign into our Samsung account, or we can create a new one, or we can skip. But I do have a Samsung account, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now we have the ability to scan a QR code. We can sign in the other way if we choose to. So I'm just gonna go ahead in front and sign in that way and uh, make it easy. And boom, I'm already signed in on my phone. 
got it. As you can see, my name's there. Uh, of course, my email is blacked out. And then we can set up a pin or we don't have to. Uh, I'm just going to skip setting up a pin. Extra offers based on your account. Uh, register my product serial. Turn on customization. Um, services. I'm cool with that and I'll just register my product. Boom. It's okay. Done. Keep everything that matters. Okay. Uh, let's see. Save your settings and easily restore. Like that stuff, broadcast information, uh, downloaded list of apps, agree to, to agree to storage of backup data. Yep, okay, cool. So you can actually do this, which is great. Um, and here's one of my other Samsung TVs, and this can pull from that TV. Let's go ahead and head back. Um, general zip, so we can use that safe setting. We use a Samsung projector. I do have a frame for, for some reason, my frame's not showing up here, so I'll use this. Okay, so here is our backed up data here, and I can pull in my general information and my home screen to restore, and uh, boom, I'll do that. Or you can skip it and you're good to go. So it's gonna take some time to restore, but you get the idea of what you can do here. Well, that's actually pretty fast. Got it. Um, gonna change my zip code location tells me my devices are connected hit next and uh, this should be the final step now you can pick your uh, your assistant you do have a selection of bigsby uh, alexa and of course google assistant and i'll skip this for now and go later and uh, boom let's go a fast way to link your apps select your favorite services so you can either do an auto sign in i believe from say amazon prime so we'll try that Let's see if we can actually do that quickly here. And since I believe I have my Prime on my phone, I can go ahead again and scan this. All right, so it says my device is registered. Should show up registered here. I hit close, waiting for you to confirm your account. It's complete, cool. I don't have Hulu, so I'm just gonna hit next. Uh, take your experience to the next level. Active voice amplifier, let's definitely try this out. And here we have it. This is our new dashboard layout. So we have an optimization prompt that just came up. We'll adjust automatically to match your room. I have the thing on mute. So this is the layout we have. And remember that three button I mentioned earlier? I believe this is interesting. It allows for multi-view and some of the different view options. So that's kind of like your option menu um, so you can go to like HDMI, you can go to your internet, you can make your own hub, if you will. And if I just go hit the main menu back. So this is our main TV hub. It has changed from what we had in the past. Now we have this whole large menu where you still have your list of apps on top and then you can move down and that takes you to Samsung TV Plus. We've got free movies and all that fun stuff there. But your apps are here, and this is kind of like the media hub now. This is where all your media will be housed. Uh, but according to Samsung, there should be another hub, which will also have all your games. So you can have all the games in one section, including gaming apps and gaming consoles. So right now, uh, to access my games, my games are under HDMI 1. At least right now, that's where the Xbox is. So I can go ahead and jump in there. And that takes you to, of course, the Xbox Series uh, X or the PlayStation 5 or, or whatever. So we're going to spend time with the TV. Uh, we are going to, of course, give you a full review. Let us know what games you want to see, what, um, what kind of content you want to see on this and what, what else you're looking for on this TV. I mean, this is excellently priced at uh, $2,999 for an OLED TV from Samsung. Uh, much cheaper than most people expected for the 65 inch while the 55 inch is priced um, at 2199 so there's a lot to see here with this tv can't wait to try it out especially with this new interface i'll give you guys more thoughts on this uh, as we go along so uh, don't forget to like share subscribe guys and 
always enjoy your entertainment and uh, catch us on the next one.